It's, it's extremely important to have uh, this event commemorating the International Remembrance Day of the Holocaust here at the Peace Palace with the participations of uh, many uh, legal organizations, international organizations, ambassadors, representative justice and security, speaking about the important to commemorate. Today, we remember the victims of the Holocaust. Their mass murder is and remains one of the biggest crimes ever to be committed in our city. President Eisenhower instructed the army to film and document everything. For the horrors were so terrible that people in the future might not believe and perhaps could even deny that they ever took place. I fear we might have now arrived at that point. It is very important to commemorate what happened and also to make sure that it is not just a story or a page out of a storybook, but it is something that happened in our country, in our society. In some ways, I don't think that we talk enough about it. And when we don't talk enough about it, history sadly tends to repeat itself. And by telling the stories and particularly, like I said, spiritual resistance, the, uh, the ability to rise above uh, the events that overcome you, uh, I think that's the strongest message. We do not fear, nor do we despair, and we don't lose hope. Not then, not now, and never. The Jewish people live. Am Yisrael Chai. are no longer the passive recipients of justice, but are now active participants and indeed drivers of the entire justice cycle. In other words, victims are no longer denied their own agency. You know, law is one thing, it's one reality, but atrocities are beyond the law. And to understand that, the testimonies are not only something legal, but they are part of History. Auerbach believed that the Eichmann trial should not be limited to German archival sources. In her view, survivors' testimonies bore an independent historiographical and legal value since they could reveal what the German documents often concealed, the experience of the crime from the point of view of its victims. When they take evidence, it's very technical and there's a very specific direction that you want to get to. And the, the risk is that you often lose the context of the story, the spirit. The lesson of the Holocaust is not a history lesson. It also has something to teach us about the here and now. As a father and as a grandfather, I wish I could tell the young generation that anti-Semitism, hatred and violence are elements of the past. I wish I could tell them the stories of the Holocaust without having to instill within them lessons for the future. What we've learned in class is not the same what we've been hearing here in the testimonies. Young people must be educated to live with purpose. I think that the uh, change starts from, from me. That's the only or the most uh, direct thing I can do. Us, as young people, it's time to act. And to say never again. We don't need an event as the Holocaust to teach us to stay away from evil. But we have to go out and keep underlining the importance of understanding what the Holocaust was. I would like the next generation to grow up in a world where people know the value of human life, not by the negative, but by the positive. <laughs>